It's ironic how I literally just made a video talking about how... But, I mean, this wasn't his blood father, so that's probably why the legal system didn't punish him. But it's funny how I just made a video talking about how if you kill your own parents or you kill one of your parents, you're going to get a life sentence because society looks at you killing your parents, even if you have a justified reason for doing so. They look at that like you just killed a peace officer. Like, if you kill a cop, you're getting a life sentence. But I'm not going to rehash that point in this video because some fucking Nimrod commented some shit on my last video. They kind of pissed me off, you know. But, I mean, by the dude's own, ad <clears throat> own admission, he admitted years ago that there's something wrong with him. So it makes sense. What I want to focus on in this video, and this is going to be a very short video, because I'm always asked about God and religion and deities. So, this dude says that he tried to kill his stepfather when he was 8 years old. Because, allegedly, his stepfather was molesting his 9-year-old sister. Now, if he's speaking the truth and the stepfather really was trying to grape his sister, then he did the right thing, in my opinion. You know, this ain't no fucking movie, man. If I catch somebody doing some shit to somebody I care about, it's on. So, if his stepfather really did that, I mean, I've been done. This is the internet, though, man. I mean, people accuse me of making up shit. So, you never know which of these stories are true or not. But if this story is true, then he did the right thing, in my opinion. It sucks that he failed, but maybe it's, maybe it's a good thing he failed because I don't know. Like, I know if you kill your real father, you're getting a life sentence. Even if your dad was raping one of your family members. But, I mean, I don't know. If you kill your stepfather, does the same rules apply? I don't know. You know, my stepfather knew better than to mess with me. And he's probably watching this video. So, but I could give a fuck less. He knows better than to do anything. But what I want to focus on here is... He's saying that God took his eyesight due to diabetes basically implying that there was some type of karma right i made a video talking about karma you should check it out god saved my sister from an on i gotta hold back my anger he just contradicted himself in the same sentence but let me calm down and make this video God saved my sister from an ongoing molestation and saved me from being a killer. Thank you, Jesus. And then ironically, instinctively, he puts a fucking star, a fucking sun right next to Jesus' name. See, his inner voice is telling him something, and he's too stubborn to listen to it. He put that star next to Jesus' name for a reason. So, I'm going to make this video quick, and I'm going to get right to the point. Even though I just rambled a little. He said that God saved my sister from an ongoing molestation. No, motherfucker. If your God gave a fuck about you or your fucking sister, if your God had the power to do anything, then your sister wouldn't have been getting molested in the first place. Because, again, if you're telling the truth, do you know what type of psychological, do you know what type of permanent psychological damage, do, do, you, do you not understand how a child is affected when they get raped, man? Part of the reason I use social media is because I like to gather data, right? I like to go to the source and I like to find out why people are the way they are. Because I intend to have children someday, and I want to make sure that I thoroughly do my job right. I, w I always resented my parents because they were unarmed for the job. I mean, my parents, they, I don't think they have a combined IQ above 99, if I'm being blunt with you. And hopefully they don't get offended if they watch this video. But, you know, I saw from a very young age that I was far more intelligent than my parents. And I always resented them for never knowing what the fuck they were talking about. And, honestly, man, I was supposed to have a sister, but my mom had a miscarriage. Well, that's what she told me, man. She told me she had a miscarriage. Who knows if she didn't just, you know, whatever, right? If I had a sister... 
and let's say somebody else was molesting my sister, right? Let's say that either, let's say my parent, let's say anybody told me, right, that God stopped the ongoing molestation. I would, I would go to prison because I would immediately attack that person. Like, it's taking everything, like, this, reading this shit pisses me off, man. Because the fucker got 2,000 likes on this shit. <clears throat> so that means there's a lot of fucking idiots that are incapable of critical thinking skills. God saved your sister from an ongoing, like, bro, like, oh my fucking God. Let me get through this video. Let me let me just this is this is this really pisses me off, right? The damage that is done to kids when they're molested is so severe that from what I've gathered going straight to the source, a lot of these kids aren't even aware that they're damaged. Okay? I was supposed to have a debate last year with somebody about this topic. He showed up and he laid a golden egg. Surprise, right? But I never stopped collecting the data. And the, the, the damage is so severe, man, that these kids don't even know they're damaged. Some of them become self-aware when they're older and they admit that <clears throat> the reason that they do some of the stuff that they did is because they never recovered fully um, from what happened. <clears throat> why am I why am I bringing all of this up? If let's just let's just play devil's advocate, no pun intended, and let's just assume that I mean I know God doesn't have any fucking power. I'm not even going to pretend like God does. But <clears throat> if we're going to use the argument, the false argument. That God knows everything, which God doesn't know shit. I mean, the Christian God didn't even know the basics of agriculture in, in the fucking, in fucking Genesis. But why didn't God stop this little girl from being molested in the first place? Why did God essentially sentence this little girl to a life sentence of psychological trauma and psychological damage, right? Like, why didn't God intervene before the act actually happened? Again, assuming this guy is not making up the story and assuming the guy, you know, is telling the truth. And I got to word it like that, man, because a lot of people lie about being raped. It's, it's really unfortunate, but, I mean, police officers don't even investigate rape crimes anymore because so many people lie about it like you you have to have extreme evidence to even get your case taken seriously in the court of law it's unfortunate but you got to blame all the people that lie about that shit for why things are the way they are today but i mean rape is a serious thing man you know people make fun of me for having prison rape bookmarks saved on my computer when i was a correctional officer i carried PREA, pre and rape elimination act man um, this this is a subject that really pisses me off, especially when mo the motherfucker is essentially saying that due to divine intervention, you know, his sister was allowed to get molested and she's going to have a lifetime of psychological problems, a lifetime of emotional problems, because the all-knowing, omnipotent, omniscient God stopped the act after it happened over and over again. Fuck these people, man. And fuck any of you motherfuckers that are going to come on this video and defend this, this shitbag, man. Are you fucking shitting me, bro? God saved my sister from ongoing, ongoing molest... Like, bro, if your God gave a fuck about you, your sister wouldn't have been molested in the first place. Anyways, my inner voice is telling me I've more than hammered this point. I really don't need to say anything else. Because at this point, man, I've been so fucking direct in this video that anybody that disagrees with what the fuck I just said, they're not going to disagree based off of any logic. They're not going to disagree based off of anything truthful. Because when people disagree with me, they don't ever attack my argument. They don't ever attack what is true. 
they instead try to find a flaw in my character to attack. So, and I mean, people wonder why I'm so arrogant. This is why. When people always say that I'm wrong and then they can't prove why I'm wrong, that's just going to feed my arrogance, you know. But I would argue the biggest arrogance is thinking of fucking God that allowed your sister to get molested over and over again is somehow fucking benevolent because he finally stiped, bro.